An unexpected ending news submitted by Air Guitar Championships. A recent Humans of New York post has gone viral for the disturbing details of a man's story. Ooh. Honey. I love Humans of New York. I love Honey too. I, I stopped following. following them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight to hell. <laughs> I do stop. I got bored. Me too. <laughs> I'm just like. Meh. What is it for those of us who don't? Oh, Humans in New York, it's a Instagram page or like the social media pages of, um, so this guy, he's a photographer and he goes and he photographs people and then he like interviews them a little bit and he gets like a small sliver of their life into this caption. Sometimes it's really like... Oh wow, really I just unfollowed as you were saying that. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and but now he travels the world so it's not just New York, it's like all Humans over. of Pettis. Pettis. I see. Mm. Well, right now, well, this one was from Montreal. And so, this is the photo. This is what he looked, the photo looks like. And I will read the cut. Is that a sword or an umbrella? A sword? A cane? I have no idea. It's I think a it's a sword. It's a sheath. All right, so ah. the caption says, and then this is the person uh, in the photo. Usually, it's like we're reading their thing. Okay, Got it. so it says, you could make a horror movie about my life. My mom died of cancer when I was five, and my father tortured me. I mean, tortured, really tortured. Chained me to a chair, slapped me with leather. It was like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, every single day. He'd never say, say a thing. He just kicked down my door and come after me. I was born into hell. I spent 12 years alone with a demonic presence, and now I'm nervous, really nervous. I play the piano to calm myself down. I always have these thoughts. Uh, they aren't even my thoughts. Fat fuckers, fucking bastards, fuck them all. They're my father's thoughts. The violence is inside of me. My energy is black, black, black. I used to kill little birds when I was a kid. Mm, red flag. Then, then I moved on to cats. By the time I was 17, I was beating the shit out of everybody. Bigger than me, taller than me, I didn't care. It was more torture to keep it inside. If I kept the violence inside, I'd mutilate myself, suicide myself. A few years ago, I set a guy on fire. It was 3 a.m. He was passed out beneath the bridge, just some druggie. I didn't feel a thing. I felt like laughing. If anything, I felt free. Yeah. Wow. He, uh, I, I don't understand whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, what the lesson is here. Right? Like, Usually there's like... He self-incriminated himself. Yeah, but now humans of fucking Montreal probably need to report this as like a confessed... Well, Everyone Murder. is pointing to the guy, uh, his uh, Brandon Stanton, which is the photographer behind this project. Everyone's like, Brandon, if you don't report this dude, then it, you're doing a disservice to the public. Yeah, he's gonna kill a person if he hasn't already. Yeah. But he's already set a person on fire. Mm -hmm. Could this guy be a Mine. transient man that has mental health issues that's just Absolutely. rambling? Absolutely, but he should still... See something, say something. He's protecting his source. Yeah, because then is he breaking the trust of a man? Look I also it. think it's a little bit off from what he's used to doing, because he'll do things that's more insightful and yeah. like, oh yeah, And whatever. like helpful, yeah. like sometimes like people would yeah. be touched by certain in people's stories and like everyone would be like where can we donate money to this person and then like, he'll actually help people yeah but i think a lot of lonely serial killers out there are like oh this is kind of nice like that speaks to them <laughs> yeah. they're like oh there's a place for me not alone. yeah because it, it does start a discussion right but then mm -hmm. like it's it's one of those if he like you can't do you can't just do this one because it just makes people scared i just don't understand the discussion that's being the discussion had. is that people like this exist and then how do you deal with that mm. Or it can be. It should have. But it should have. He should have stopped and probably had that question there. Like, what do you guys think? Well, he doesn't really type. <laughs> what do you guys think? He just uh, evil. Oh, exists. He does. Oh. Evil exists and it's smiling at us. Use the emoji, the little purple devil emoji. To if you well, agree. Way, all of his posts are is he just listens to their story and then yeah. he writes it. So yeah. maybe you're saying it's not his place to be like this guy's a murderer. That's he's like, style. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot. Yeah, because he's like a. She's pretty much like a therapist, right? Like, if, if the therapist, if you tell a therapist like all these things, I set a guy on fire, they can't report you to the cops because there's a confidentiality. But he's not thing. a therapist. Yeah, he's, not he's not. But I'm just saying, like, this, like, this type of like protecting your source is like a different type of relationship. Because then no one will trust him. Like, if something happens to this guy, yeah. then people yeah. will be like, I'm never telling you my story. Well, yeah. what I take from this is serial killers are made, not born. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's true? Uh, yeah, I think environment has a lot to do with. Uh, I mean, it's the nature versus nurture argument, right? I but would like, agree. yeah, if they didn't have that 
trauma would they express themselves in this way? Yeah, that's usually what I see in a lot of movies. So you're probably right. Because you know <laughs> what they say about the movies. Everything you it's see true. is real. I'm just kidding. No, for real though, even in uh, Dexter, in the TV show. Based on true story. Thing. But yeah, yeah, they're saying. No. <laughs> oh, like, <laughs> but yeah, like when he was a yeah. kid, he like burnt, like witnessed people being chained, like chained and sawed off. Have you ever heard of trauma bonding? It's when someone who has had trauma in childhood, as an adult, they relate trauma to love because the trauma usually came from someone close within their family. Yeah. Oh. So they'll be like, even though this person beats me or like my new boyfriend beats me, I see it as love because my mom used to get beat and oh. I love my mom and I see that as love and that's like trauma bonding. Oh yeah. Or they recreate past traumatic experiences be yeah. because that is love to them. Oh. Dang. Mm -hmm. But this guy killed birds, isn't that like a tall yeah, tale sign? And yeah. set a human yeah. on fire. That's actually, someone, someone commented, um, this is a textbook serial killer. Like, if you don't Sounds report that him, way. Yo, so what happened? Has he reported him? That's it. Like, he hasn't followed up with anything on his Instagram or his Twitter. Like, he really hasn't commented on this that I've seen at all. And people are just replying on Twitter like... <laughs> it's just funny because it's so different from his usual post. It it's like, if if I was on a park bench like this and in the caption it said, Yo, I just shot a dude last week. That's basically what people are taking this as. Yeah. So that looks like a public piano. Yeah, a public area. And he has a sword. Yeah. What kind of tunes does he there's play? A, there's a tattoo on the guy's leg. Like oh, he has things that identify. identifying yeah, The funny thing is, what city are you allowed to walk around with a medieval looking dungeon Where, sword like that? Maybe Portland. Canada. And he doesn't look transient like this. Well, does that look dirty to you? The, no. the piano looks pretty homeless His though. His shirt has a grim reaper on it. Oh, yeah. that's is creepy. he sitting on a cooler? It looks like the piano bench. It, it's oh. painted. I think plaid pants in Mar Montreal, we could find this guy. I'm yeah. saying that they have those public pianos around the world. He's probably there like, all the time. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Someone should just go to that public piano in Montreal. Just gets, he just fucking chops somebody with that sword and he went to go play the piano to relax. Also, that is that plastic? Like, shouldn't he be, like, pulled over? Carrying a fucking sword around? Yeah. Some bicycle cop could pull him over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, ring, 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 ring. <laughs> yeah, so someone even tagged the Montreal police on Twitter to this this post here, and so they said that after verification, no such event has happened in Montreal over the last few years, and no oh, complaint has been filed so about it. So he made it. it up. But if it was another transient exactly. guy. It could have been, like, he could have been a different city that did it, oh. if he did do it. Yeah. That's if what people did. Were That's why it's yeah. tough, and he, he like, Unless you catch them doing the crime, you How can't really you can't really crime. prevent crime. You know, you can't exactly. say like this guy like no minority arrest report. him, yeah, before he does the next crime. Oh no! How do we catch this guy? Dude, that's like, do you, do you guys remember that O.J. Simpson book where he wrote he wrote a if book I called If I Did It? Yeah, and he details everything about the murder in it. Yeah, if he did it, and just said if he if I did it. This is what I would. He did that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's the same kind of moral yep. quandary thing where it's like, is this okay to do? Well, just double jeopardy. That's how they got Ted Bundy to confess. Is they had him speak in third person because in the interrogation room he wouldn't say anything. And then when they said, well, if Ted was about to do it, like, what do you think he would do? Well, I That's think right. Ted would do it this way. So then how come he didn't get in trouble? How come OJ, OJ didn't get in trouble? Here, because it's double, double jeopardy. jeopardy. Oh. Yeah. If you're already proven innocent. That's it. You, yeah. Even if he were today, be like, I did it. Yep. Yep. He wouldn't go back to jail? Nope. No. Wow. But that's why when he's doing other shit, he just goes to jail immediately. Like, he's in jail right. now. Yeah. I think Again? He just got out. He got out. Yeah. He just got out and said he's got, I'm not Khloe Kardashian's dad, and I have a lot of revenge to do, is what he said. Oh right? lord, that's a threat. He said I have a lot of, yeah. right, it was revenge or something? I wonder who. There was a fucking bomb SNL sketch about that where they had- Who still watches SNL? Right? Well, it's, I, I, not very often, but I but I, I found this one. Uh, it's Keenan playing OJ, and he's on a date with like a millennial chick, and he's like, so you, you you don't watch the news or anything like that, right? And she's like, absolutely not. And he's like, okay, thank God. Like, it's pretty good. It's Imagine pretty seeing good. OJ on fucking like Raya or something, or like Bumble. <laughs> I'd go on a date just, Raya or Bumble, how long have you been married? Th two years, but we've been together seven. Oh, that explains it. It's a dating app. Oh. You know, if you saw OJ on a dating app, one more gall. Oh, yeah, that'd be creepy. But yeah, so another tweet uh, comment here, it says, I hope you reported him to the police. It would be irresponsible if you didn't, and if you have details of crimes that you're withholding from police, oh sorry, and you have details of crimes that you have withholding from the police, do the right thing is more important than content and clicks. So mm. yeah, like that makes me think like, 
Is know? it real? Not just that, but like right now, because everything's being promoted on social media, like everything's just like, it's all out there. Like, where do you, where do you draw the line in terms yeah, of like, hold on, there should be repercussions for what you're saying. What was that guy thinking posting this too? Was he like, <laughs> here comes the drama, or do you think he was just doing his job? Um, um, knowing his brand and what he's done like over the years, I don't think his whole thing was, I'm gonna go viral, because- he's, he's already viral. He's already viral, yeah. yeah. he's really well known. He's, I mean, his post's been published too by, I think, like, major media sites and whatever. And he's just a storyteller. Yeah. So he doesn't need the <clears throat> clout. No. No, I just think it's just, what he does is he just interviews and talks to people, and then he writes the most interesting thing about them in the caption. And I think that was the most interesting thing during their conversation that popped out that he wrote in the caption. Well, it's also interesting that it doesn't sound like a guy, like he talks about The Shining and he speaks eloquently. It doesn't sound like a madman, just like barking nothing. It sounds like he told a complete story in his caption, which makes you go like, ooh. Yeah, yeah, and it's pretty cookie cutter too. Like it's like almost like a textbook, like law and order episode, like serial killer note kind of thing. I don't know. It's it's. Like it, I always had a feeling that he kind of he, he tweaked what people said to make it sound better. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know, you know, because has there been uh, people coming out saying like, hey, that was me and I didn't say that. See, I don't think like, that he changes what they're saying. I'm just saying like he's not writing verbatim what he's saying. Like he's editing some of it. Like he's making, making it sound flowery. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think he does. I don't even know what the guy looks like. Oh, I can show you. The, the humans in New York guy. It'll take me a second, but I can pull it why, off. Why do you say that? Because it's interesting only because I'm in front of the camera of all these things that I do. Like, but there's other publications or like teams out there that are in social media and they're not, their face isn't even in on the thing. Mm. Look at this guy's fucking face. Hold Talk on. about a punch. Laughable face. face, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. And here. Ooh. Okay, I get it. I'm just kidding. No, I didn't know that. Like, I don't know, because I, I couldn't tell if he was white normal? or black or whatever. That just looks normal to me. He does look like a normal no, guy. No, he's got the Eli Manning thing going on. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was doing this. From <laughs> <laughs> uh, over here, it looks like it. He just looks, uh, that doesn't look like a clout chaser to me. It doesn't, right? He looks like, um, just, like just a guy. He's just a regular guy. Yeah. Just a guy do, doing do trying things. to get stories and pictures. Yeah. I wonder if he makes money off of that Instagram. He does have books. Oh, because, duh. Mm -hmm. That's where the money comes. <laughs> 